I am woman of the earth, spreading love and joy, fun and laughter. Woman of the earth, making miracles forever after. Hey guys, in the last two weeks, I have been watching the Miss Earth 2019 eco videos of every contestant except that of Austria and Papua New Guinea, which don't have one. The contestants' ages range from 18 to 28. I have been following the pageant activities leading to the finals night, which will take place on October 26 in Manila, Philippines. Based on what has been posted on the internet and on social media so far, like photos, videos, random comments from pageant fans, and on the girls' performance in two preliminary competitions, face and poise, and figure and form, I have come up with my official list of top 20 favorites for the Miss Earth 2019 crown. Any one of these contestants could win the title. And let's start now. In random order, starting at number 20 with Miss Netherlands, Nikki Prime. I almost did not include Nikki on my list because I thought her eco video was inadequate. She does not elaborate on her advocacy and she poses most of the time. However, since arriving in the Philippines three weeks ago, she has proven herself to be a strong earth warrior by endlessly raising awareness about pollution and gaining the admiration of pageant fans. At number 19, Venezuela, Michelle Castellanos. Like the Netherlands, Venezuela's advocacy is generic to raise awareness and to educate others about the care and protection of the planet as stated in her bio. Although on her eco video, she focuses on recycling. But coming from Venezuela, which is the second most successful country in this earth, do we really care what exactly her platform is? Is it enough that she's Miss Venezuela? At number 18, Mongolia, Azaya Tsokt Ochir. In her bio, it states that Azaya is an actress having starred in her first movie when she was five. Did you know that the most unusual thing she has ever done is playing the role of a sack in a drama for kids? The role required her to stay silent and moveless for a long time. She also used her acting skills in her beautiful cinematic eco video. She believes the children and pregnant women are the most vulnerable victims of air pollution and therefore we should take action to protect ourselves and our next generation immediately. At 17, Germany, Christina Losova. This petite Czech-born 20-year-old model, author, life coach who speaks five languages may be small in stature but big in her advocacy to reduce consumption of consumer goods and rare resources. According to Christina, 99% of what we consume is toxifying and overwhelming the planet. And to help diminish this problem, she proposes that we purchase high-quality and sustainable products that will last long. There are some girls who join Miss Earth just to have fun or pretend that they care about the planet. In Christina's case, by watching her extraordinary eco video, you can tell she's serious about saving Mother Earth. At number 16, Philippines, Janelle T. At age 28, Janelle is the oldest contestant, but she is also the most prepared. Ever since she was a little girl, Janelle had always dreamed of being a beauty queen. She competed in Miss Philippines Earth twice, the first time in 2014 when she was 23 and when she placed in the top 15. After a few years of hiatus, she competed again in 2019 when the age limit was raised to 28 and lo and behold, she won. Although I found her eco video rather dull, she is nevertheless a good communicator and a fierce competitor. At number 15, Colombia, Yeni Carillo. This 25-year-old law student comes from one of the most biodiverse countries in the world. She speaks English very well. Her advocacy is the preservation of exotic flora, which are in danger of extinction. During an interview with a vlogger, she was asked what advice she got from last year's Miss Earth Colombia, and she replied that Miss Earth Colombia is not just one former queen, but all former queens who have given her plenty of good advice, the most important of which is just to be herself. Colombia has placed eight times in Miss Earth and made the top four in 2016, 2017, and 2018. Many fans believe that Yenny could bring to Colombia its first Miss Earth crown. At number 14, Spain, Sonia Hernandez. This 22-year-old Spanish beauty is a student of administration and marketing. Her advocacy is to make the world free of plastic because it kills the planet's flora and fauna. Sonia speaks English very well, she's very bubbly, and she looks nearly flawless in photos and videos. 
Spain has played seven times since it first competed in 2001. Its highest placement was two-third runner-up positions in 2007 and 2009. Can Sonia finally bring the crown to Spain this year? We'll just have to find out during the October 26th finals. At number 13, Czech Republic, Klara Vavruskova. 20-year-old Klara is a student of biology and chemistry whose advocacy is the preservation of culture and nature. What struck me about Clara the most is her sweet disposition. She's the kind of person who could be your best friend because she's so sincere and genuine. I find her looks captivating and she would be an ideal model for Victoria's Secret. Czech girls do quite well in Miss Earth, having placed eight times and winning in 2012. I have a feeling that Clara could easily make the top four and bring home her country's second Miss Earth crown. At number 12, Vietnam, Huang Thi Han. The first time I saw Huang's photos on social media, I thought, oh well, she looks kind of plain and Vietnam will not have a back-to-back -back winner this year. But I judge her too quickly. Three weeks into the pageant, she has done very well in most of the pre-pageant activities. Her eco video is quite substantial and she speaks English well, though not as good as last year's delegate who is the current Miss Earth. And her bio on the Miss Earth website does not look interesting. Despite her so-so communication skills, I still think she will earn a placement, and who knows, perhaps take it all if luck is on her side. At number 11, Ukraine, Diana Shabas. The first time I saw Ukraine's eco video, I said to myself, okay, well, this girl looks like she's auditioning for a modeling competition, and her advocacy, beauty for environmental cause, sounds trivial and generic, but do I really care? No, because the girl is simply gorgeous, and I'm more mesmerized by her looks than by her hum-ho advocacy. Ukraine debuted in this earth in 2003 and has placed three times, the last one in 2015. I think Diana can easily make the top four or even win if she plays her cards right and win the judges' votes. That's ten down, ten more to go. But first, I need a coffee break. I'll be right back. At number 10, New Zealand, Tashan Kapani. I have to say that Tashan has the most exquisite face in the entire competition. This 19-year-old beauty's advocacy is to spread awareness of ocean pollution through youth work, community service, and basic education. On her eco video, she says that she wants to be Miss Earth 2019 because she wants to be a global advocate, not only for New Zealand, but also for the world. New Zealand has never placed since it began competing in 2001. Let's hope that Tashan will break the curse and become the first Kiwi beauty to ever place or even win. At number nine, Russia, Anna Bakshiva. This 18-year-old Russian beauty loves animals. In fact, her advocacy is to promote animal welfare and to stop animal abuse. A student of economics, her dream is to become an actress. She believes that she deserves the title of Miss Earth 2019 because she would love to give Mother Earth a wonderful and bright future by taking care of her. She thinks that ecotourism provides the traveler the opportunity to make a lasting impact on communities and destinations to visit. That's Miss Russia. At number eight, Poland, Kristina Sokolowska. This 22-year-old Earth Warrior Queen won the gold medal in the swimsuit competition for the Fire Group, and deservingly so. Kristina has one of the most amazing bodies, as well as one of the most naturally beautiful faces in the pageant. She is a professional coach for girls' gymnastics and is a student of economics. Poland has placed eight times in Miss Earth, but has never won the crown. Christina could well be the very first woman from her country to be crowned Miss Earth. At number seven, Nepal, Ria Basnet. Nepalese girls have been sending strong candidates lately to various international pageants. 23-year-old Ria is yet another one of these strong contestants from Nepal, which is sometimes called as the roof of the world because of its high elevation and because of its most famous landmark, Mount Everest. Ria is a business administration graduate and her platform is to encourage local participation of communities in order to create a sustainable future. That's Miss Nepal. At number six, Portugal, Bruna Silva. This stunner is one of the youngest in the group. Despite only being 18, Bruna has proven herself to be just as strong as the girls older than her. Her eco video contains great content, she speaks English very well, and she's beautiful with or without makeup. Did you know that she started caring about Mother Earth since she was a nine-year-old Girl Scout? 
At number five, Belarus, Alisa Malenok. The six foot tall, 24 year old Glamazon is a professional model and former volleyball player. I love her advocacy, promoting natural beauty, natural cosmetics without animal testing, clothing, recycling, and separate garbage collection. This year is only the third time that Belarus has participated in the pageant, and with Elisa's strong environmental advocacy and great natural looks, she could bring the first Miss Earth crown to her country. At number four, USA, Imani Davis. To Miss USA fans, Imani looks very familiar because she competed in Miss USA 2016, where she placed second runner-up. Now as Miss Earth USA, Imani is winning a lot of admirers because of her beauty, grace, poise, and eloquence. Her eco video is one of the best videos of any US representative that I've ever seen, but she doesn't mention her specific advocacy on it. Nevertheless, she proves to be the strongest American representative to date and could win her country's first Miss Earth crown. At number three, Puerto Rico, Nelis Pimentel. 21-year-old Nelis is one of the tallest contestants at five feet, 11 inches tall. Because of her height and her beautiful dusky complexion, you cannot miss her as she stands out everywhere she goes. Her advocacy is to stop the use of products that harm the environment and to educate the public. This bright young woman has a bachelor's degree in psychology and marketing and plans to pursue a master's degree in psychology and use art to practice psychotherapy. Puerto Rico's best placement so far was winning the elemental title of Miss Earth Fire in 2010. I believe that Nellies can surpass that feat and win Puerto Rico's first ever Miss Earth crown. At number two, Ghana, Evelyn Apia. This 26-year-old flight attendant has been causing commotion since she arrived in Manila. The tall, statuesque African beauty is a pageant veteran, having competed in several pageants which help her improve her performance in this earth. She has gained a huge following from Filipino fans who find her approachable, down-to-earth, charming, and vivacious. She has also won the most number of medals in preliminary events, a total of five. Her eco video was uploaded on October 18 on the official Miss Earth Facebook page, and I have just watched it. I thought it was theatrical, scripted, and contrived, but I don't think anyone cares about the video at this point because she's practically acing the entire competition. Go Gala! And at number one, my favorite for the crown is India, Tejaswini Managna. Tejaswini is the only medical doctor competing in Miss Earth. Ever since this 25-year-old beauty was crowned Miss Earth India over a month ago, Tejaswini, or Dr. T, as her fans would address her, quickly became one of the favorites for the crown. A woman of many talents, Dr. T is also a yoga practitioner who is passionate about social work and aims to serve people to the best of her ability. From her excellent eco video to her impressive background, Dr. T is here to win it. In her bio, she stated that in her tender age, she was a systematic, self-motivated, and disciplined child who used to count newspaper articles of eminent personalities who have contributed to Mother Earth. Little does she know that she would grow up to become even more systematic, more self-motivated, and more disciplined. Three important qualities that would make an ideal Miss Earth. There are 10 countries that are bubbling under my list and I consider them as alternates. Belgium, England, Guyana, Armenia, Malta, Nigeria, South Sudan, Chile, Guatemala, and Indonesia. Any of these countries could pull a surprise. After loving, caring, working, sharing, teaching, singing, mothering, woman of the earth. And there you have it, my top 20 favorites for the Miss Earth 2019 crown. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, and share. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell below to receive instant notification for the next video. Until the next time, bye!